Hey, what's up everybody? Joey Bag of Donuts here and welcome back to my channel. And in this video, we're going to go over the approach vehicle, the long fin for the Cayo Perico heist. The long fin is the easiest approach vehicle setup you can do out of all possibilities and it's one of the best options to getting on the island. As soon as you launch the heist, it's going to tell you to go to a police station. There's about three different police stations it could tell you to go to, but that doesn't matter because the outcome is always the same when you get to the police station. There's going to be a long fin on a flatbed trailer that you need to steal. But as soon as I launch this heist and I'm heading towards the police station that it's telling me to go to, I like to place a marker on the map. This is where you will always deliver the long fin. Doesn't matter what police station you're stealing it from, you always deliver it to this location at the ports. And the reason why I mark it ahead of time is because as soon as you steal the long fin, you're going to get a three star wanted level. When you have a three star wanted level or any wanted level whatsoever, the map won't tell you where to deliver the long fin until you lose the wanted level. So knowing ahead of time where to go and marking it on your map is going to help you out a lot. Because you won't be able to call Lester to get the police off of you. The only way you can get the police off of you is by losing them legitly or killing yourself. So what I do is I place that marker on the map. I go to the police station and then I request my Phantom Wedge. The Phantom Wedge is a truck that has a giant scoop on the front. Not only does the Phantom Wedge make this a lot more fun to do, it makes it a lot easier to do as well. You don't have to worry about vehicles in your way, just smash right into them, cops and all. But the Phantom Wedge costs just under $2 million, so not everybody owns it and you might not even be able to afford it yet. You'll have to do a few of these Kyle Perico heists to save up your money in order to get it. So if you don't own the Phantom Wedge, you can still complete this setup. As soon as you get near the police station that you're stealing the long fin from, Pavel will text you and say that he has a couple trucks that you can use. He doesn't give you the locations of the trucks though until you get near the police station. Now, that could be kind of time consuming, which is why I, I like using the Phantom Wedge. That way I don't have to backtrack to grab one of these two trucks and then head back to the police station. So whether you're in the Phantom Wedge or one of the trucks that Pavel provides for you, when you get to the entrance to the police station, back in, because you're going to have to back up to the trailer that the long fin is on. So you don't want to pull in forward and then have to try to turn around while all the cops are shooting at you. Back in and duck while you're in the vehicle. Now, if you're on Xbox, you press A to duck, and if you're on PlayStation, you press X to duck. This will help you from getting shot too much while you're inside of there. Once you pull out of the police station, you just head straight to the marker that you placed on the map. Now, you're going to have a wanted level the entire time unless you're able to lose it while you're on your way. Another thing I want to point out is when you see roadblocks, don't drive around them. They have spike strips. If you drive around them, you're going to pop your tires. It's going to be a little bit more difficult to drive the truck, but you'll still be able to drive the truck. It just won't drive as fast. It won't turn as good. So whenever I see those vans or cop cars blocking the road, I head straight into them and smash into them. There's not spike strips where their vehicles are, just next to where the vehicles are. Then when I get to the final location where I'm delivering this long fin, if I haven't lost my wanted level, I do one of two things. If there's no cops around, I just kind of hide behind the building and wait for my wanted level to disappear. And if there are cops right on my ass when I get there, I just pull out a grenade or a sticky bomb and kill myself. This removes the wanted level, then I just run back up to the truck, get inside and make sure I drive into the yellow Corona. Then your setup's done. This setup literally took exactly five minutes to complete and I highly recommend using the long fin when you do the Cayo Perico heist. You'll thank me later. And that's it. That's going to wrap up this video. If it helped you out, please drop a like on this video and consider subscribing to my channel for more GTA content like this. My name is Joey Bag of Donuts. You've been watching Jab Nutty Gaming, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.